What is going on everyone? How are you doing? I hope you're doing good because it is good to feel good and I'm back here with some vlogs um, In fact, this is the first in a series of vlogs because I'm off on another one of my travels and As you know, I've been talking about it for some time and that is of course I'm going to California I'm spending a few days in San Francisco and then doing the remainder of my trip in Los Angeles and I'm absolutely buzzing I think for a few reasons one owing to it's been five years since I was last in California regardless of the city that I was in, and yes, I was in Los Angeles, but that's beside the point. Secondly, my trip, this is obviously my biggest trip, probably travel-wise, since COVID, and it's ironic because I had a trip to California planned, but then, of course, the pandemic put the kibosh on that, so that was unfortunate. But yeah, we are back, and we are doing some travelling. So I'm travelling down today to London, and then I'm flying out from Heathrow Airport tomorrow morning, and then the rest is history from there. And then, of course, in a few days' time, when I do go to Los Angeles, I'll be meeting up with my friend Stephen and my friend Brandon. I've actually not met Brandon um, prior to this trip, so this will be my first time meeting him. And also, it's his birthday in a few days' time as well, so that's going to be fun. But anywho, I've got everything ready. Bags are all packed. I'm all dressed up. I'm all ready. And, yeah, without further ado, let's get going to California. All right, I've just popped into my parents' room. Dory's here. I think she knows, like, whenever, because I'm all dressed up and that, and she knows I'm going to go away for a bit, aren't I? Oh, just look at her eyes. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in two weeks. Lickies too, kissies too. Oh, <laughs> see you later, Dory. Okay, I've just made it to North Hallerton. My mum's kindly dropped me off. As, and it's like a tradition, this is, obviously. Someone's always going to come drop me off at the airport because we live so far up north. It's like, mum, this is the best equivalent. So anyway, mum, I'm not going to see you for nearly two weeks, but... Um, I'll miss you. Aww. 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 Love you too, mum. Have a lovely time, my darling. Will do. Not really jealous, you know. It's like pissing down with rain and it's like gorgeous and cold, but you have a nice time where it's warm. Of course. Don't get eaten by the grizzly bears. I'll make sure of that. Just made it to King's Cross. That was a really nice, smooth journey and um, nice big Christmas tree over there. So that's lovely. Anywho, what I'm gonna do now is make my way over to um, um, Heathrow because even though I don't fly till tomorrow morning, it's more a case of just getting there and then, um, and then you know, get my hotel where I can relax for this evening. Might get a few little bits and bobs done while I'm there. But yeah, let's go to Heathrow. Just made it to my hotel room. I'm absolutely shattered, but you know what? It's pretty nice, pretty suave, you could say. And literally every time I go to a hotel, I've got to just do the bed tester. So one, two, three. Oh, oh that is actually nice and comfortable. Ollie, we did well. And also, I thought we might as well check out the view. I say, let's check out the view. It's the. It, that's always the, like the downside of staying in a hotel. You're gonna get like a nice view, and, like a nice view of wherever you are, or you're just gonna get a really barren courtyard. Go figure. Anyway. It's chill time. I'm gonna just chill for a bit, um, get the video that I was like, editing uploaded and whatnot, and get some food and just have some chill. Right, right, and shine, everybody. Um, it's the following morning. I am absolutely shattered. I've noticed this has become a bit of a habit. Whenever I stay at a hotel the night before I do any traveling, I think I put it down to like, you know, excitement and also just a bit of like anxiety sometimes as well. Obviously, making sure you don't like sleep past your alarms or anything like that. Although it is half six and I did set my alarms, I woke up before that, so that was a good shout from me. But anywho, we're about to head to the airport, to Heathrow Airport, and also I've noticed the mood lighting in the background. Like, if I were to, hang on a second, let me just quickly just turn the lights off. Maybe lock them doors and turn them lights down low. It looks like, it looks like you're on a Virgin Atlantic flight when they turn the mood lighting on. But ironically, I'm not flying with Virgin this time, like, which is what I've done every other time when I've flown to America, um, from the UK that is. Um, but yeah, I'm flying with BA for a change, which is like, ooh, exciting. But anywho, let's get going to Heathrow Airport, to T5. Let's go, baby. Okay, we made it to Heathrow T5. 
feels nice to be back here. As I mentioned my last time I was here, two years ago when I went to Norway, it's, it just reminds me so much of like going to Kuwait every now and then when I lived out there. But anyway, let's go through and drop off my big old suitcase. Okay, that was a nice, very easy experience, dropping off my suitcase. Thing with economy, of course, is like, because with BA and I think Virgin do it as well, it's like self-service. So you're like, oh, am I making sure I've got the right tag on and everything like that? But yeah, that was very straightforward. See, what's really nice, I said this two years ago when I was last at Heathrow Airport, but there's something about it that just always reminds me of Love Actually, and coincidentally enough, um, Love Actually is one of the films that's on the plane, so, I think I'm yet to have watched a Christmas film this year so far, so I think that'll be my first for the year. And also it's 20 years since the film came out as well, which is incredible. So the thing, I was what, seven when it came out? I'm 27 now. Oh, what has happened to these years? Okay, I'm now heading to my gate. It's in the C section of T5, so got to get the transit train over. And then also, what was I going to say? Um, the, the aircraft that I'm flying on today, it's an A330. I flew on one of those a few years ago when I flew with Emirates to Dubai, but um, this time I'm on the upper deck and I should just say as well, I haven't upgraded or anything because I can't really afford that. But uh, nonetheless, it should be a, a decent experience. I think in economy on there, it's a 232 configuration on the upper deck. So that's pretty nice. Look at this. This is pretty decent. I've got the whole garage to myself. I might just have a little bar in here before I go on the flight. We're delayed by a little bit. We're just never fun. But they were saying like they had to do some like internal checks on the plane, so it shouldn't take too long, but then fingers crossed we'll be boarding soon. <laughs> Okay, I've just sat down on the plane. I am very tired, as you can tell by my eyes. But um, yeah, we're doing all right. And also, I think the flight attendant was saying there's, there's a lot of availability on this flight, so I might get up and move at some point during this flight. And also, I don't think, touch wood, fingers crossed and all that, no one's sitting next to me. So I can literally just get out and explore if I want to. And also, got the classic window seat, which is always nice. As I mentioned, I'm on the upper deck of an A380, not in business class, but that would be nice one day. But, speaking of which, tell you what is quite nice, there's a nice little compartment here where I can bottle my stuff in. I don't know if it's just on an A380 for British Airways or if um, other aircrafts are doing that, but it, that's a game changer in itself for economy. But um, nonetheless, I'm gonna just chill about now and before we know it, we'll be flying and about 10 to 11 hours, we'll be in San Francisco. Back in California, baby. So as I mentioned earlier on the flight, barely any economy, so that's really good and there are some rows free and I've just decided to come a deer row and I've made it to a bridge of the bed. Show you about the armrest, so I can go all the way back so I've got caught up with that. So I'm like digging it in my back, but hey ho, it's, it's doable. Hopefully I can get a few hours in. I we'll might see you, I don't know when I'll see you, but obviously I'll definitely see you guys when we land. But then I went next on this flight, I'll see ya. Okay, so the flight's just winding down now. I've got about an hour to go, but I tell you what, it's been a decent flight and also especially having no one sitting there. Literally, it was so awkward if I was just sitting like this and then just someone just sitting. It'd be so awkward. 
but um, honestly it's been a decent flight, you know, I've been able to get some some, um, some sleep in, that makes you fed, about three hours in total, so we did alright, but yeah, nearly in San Francisco. Okay, I've just landed in San Francisco and for the first time in five years I'm back in California. Oh, this feels nice. And yes, I'm putting on this energy right now despite being really shattered. Good. Put it in perspective, it's just gone, well it's four over here right now, which would make it midnight back home. So I don't know how I'm putting on this energy, but I'm powering on through nonetheless. Anywho, usual stuff when we go for arrivals. Gotta go for immigration, pick up my bag, and then I'm gonna go head to my hospital in San Francisco. Just walking through arrivals right now. I'm gonna quickly juxtapose the last time I was at the international arrivals at San Francisco. When I was here with my dad, we just got in from um, our respective domestic flights from um, LA and Philadelphia. And then my mum and my brother just arrived from um, from London. And it's just like, just walking through here now and it's just me and it's like, oh, this is a tad bit weird. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Let's go find our way into San Francisco. Okay, so I've made it to my hostel um, just outside the room because I don't want this to serve the guy who's in there, but oh my gosh, the lack of energy is really getting to me right now. To put it into perspective, I've been awake since just around six-ish in the morning and that was back home in England. And that has been that was nearly 24 hours ago and I've been on the go for on and off for nearly 24 hours so I think the lack of energy is severely getting to me so I'm gonna call it quits for tonight and I can anticipate probably tomorrow I'm gonna wake up feeling insanely jet lagged wake up at like stupid o'clock in the morning but that's just one of those things you've got to anticipate I will just say quickly I want to shout out the um, cabin crew staff who are on the British Airways flight that I took today um, they're really cool uh, one guy was called Mark one guy uh, was one woman called Anna and there was a French woman that I also had a quick chat with I forgot what your name was but if any of you are watching this I just want to say it was an amazing flight and also thank you for your hospitality and also um, I did speak to someone um, in English girl on the um, Bart train over into the downtown earlier um, called Emily and she was really cool as well and she's in San Francisco for a few days but um, nah it's, it's quite crazy how like you can meet all sorts of people on your travels like this it's really fun but um, yeah I'm gonna call it quits I'm absolutely shattered but tomorrow I haven't got much planned in the way of things but I think it's just gonna be a day of like getting my bearings and then also just exploring about the city of San Francisco. I know I've been here before, but you know what? It's nice to, you know, be back in familiar territory and also just see a few new bits as well. So that's what I will do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow and I will also leave you with some advice. That is to enjoy yourself, stay safe and make the most of every opportunity that comes your way. Thank you for watching and peace.